hello to you, fellow human. Infinite Spiral here, and we're back again in Kerbal Space Program for Episode 2. Now, last time, we, uh, didn't get a whole lot accomplished, but we launched our very first rocket. Yay! And it landed sort of horribly, but hey, that's okay. Now let's check on those contracts again. We still need that altitude record. And visual surveys of Kerbin. It seemed proper for a group of impeccably dressed representatives inspecting the factory floor at Stedler Engineering's Corp... Engineering Corps' labs, that it seemed decent that Kerbin was in fact perfectly round. And not an oblate spheroid, as some lunatics suggest. Granted, the way we would frequently see a possibly not that bad accident was how we wondered if a day on Kerbin was apparently six hours long. Making sure you get it done right, no messing about, this is why we're here. So that has a three-day expiration date. Take a crew report in flight below 17,000 meters near this specific site. I don't know how to find sites yet. Maybe it automatically shows me when I accept it. Hopefully, I have, I'm failing to make the connection between this expiration here and the duration here. I'm thinking that the missions actually update over time, so after six hours, this one will not be here anymore, is what I'm thinking. Whereas, this duration would be how long I have to complete it once I accept it. So, that's good to know. I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, accept this Stedler Engineering Corps. Yeah, take a crew report in flight below 17 kilometers near this specific site. So, we'll accept that. And now we will double check the deadlines. Okay, so I have five years to do that, apparently. All right. And just double check, make sure, yes, you are limited to two. Let's get out of hell. And let us... Unlock basic rocketry with our five... Oh, we have ten research points, apparently. Interesting. Excellent. I failed to do anything with uh, Jebediah while we were in flight. We could have taken a flight report or something. Anyway, that's 20, also 18 and 15, so we can't do anything more. But these... These are very useful... I mean, all, all of it's useful in the long run, especially all this early on stuff, but now that we've got some more parts to work with, we can definitely achieve that five kilometer height. And we've got stack decouplers, but we don't have radial decouplers yet. Those come later and they are massively useful. Ooh, mystery goo, our first science piece. These are lovely. I mean, they're actually not. They're kind of terrible, but uh, that's okay. They are at least science points. I always try not to uh, get in the way of that hatch opening. But that's still functional. Excellent. All right, we've got that going on. Yeah, just for fun, why don't we go ahead and... Uh, now nah, we won't mess with the solid fuel bo boosters until we're until we accept that contract for them. Let us attempt and fail to attach more parachutes. Okay. <laughs> so this thing, uh, well, unless we reserve some fuel for the landing, that, that would be the best way. So let's go ahead and launch. All right. And we didn't fix our staging again. So there. I have to remember to do that every time until I fix the actual schematic. But let's get going. And, oh, SAS engaged this time. Excellent. Hopefully we won't go flying out of control this time. Much more fuel than our previous attempt. Definitely going to hit that five kilometer mark. Let's just go ahead and drop that down a bit. Conserve our fuel a bit. Now, where? I'm going to check the map and see if anything is marked. Oh, it's way up there. Okay. We are not going to be doing that in this particular rocket. At least not on this launch, so...
Oh, there's now a full throttle button. That's new. Well, our current trajectory is uh, parabolic, of course. And we are set to fall down into the ocean currently. Of course, that's going to change as we get affected by the atmosphere. So, let's just... Uh, Point ourselves not that way, clearly. <laughs> I may need to alter my perspective a bit, but let's see. And yeah, let's just give ourselves some thrust in that direction. And check what that did. Still in the ocean. Yeah, that's going to come into the land. Atmosphere is just going to get thicker and thicker, which will accelerate that process. Let's turn off SAS. Ourselves pointed upwards. <laughs> oh, so much harder to control this thing now. There's a lot more mass to deal with. As we get close to the ground, well, let's go ahead and engage that parachute now. And we're going to engage the thruster for our landing, because I think that'll be a better way to, you know, not have everything explode. Actually recover more of the vessel, which is usually a good thing to do. I'm sure that we'll, you know, save some money in the long run. So that was a fun test launch, just to fulfill that 5km, 5 5km 5 contract. Though it was not very exciting, I'm sure the next thing will be a bit different. That's a bit better. Oh yeah. And touchdown. <laughs> that just looked silly. Recover. Dear God, I didn't take any science again. Okay, no XP gain. Tiny bit of science. Yup. Alright, well, so we need that one. <clears throat> and what will go well with that would be... I think... Yeah, we'll do the solid fuel booster. Let's actually let's go back real quick, check our science because if we can unlock something, I don't Oh yeah, definitely not. Never mind. So, stack decoupler. This might be a horrible mistake. But there's only one way to find out. <laughs> the solid, bo solid boosters have far, far less control. So uh, if you don't have good design, you have a much greater tendency to just go all over the place and have horrible crashing disasters, which are not good. But uh, oh, let us fix it. Fix our staging this time. And I like to engage the liquid fuel at the same time that I decouple. Sometimes it's useful to separate those, but usually it's better for me, in my experience. Let's go! Dear God. This, I guess, technically it would be the third. I always forget the name. I forget to name these things, but... Maybe we'll keep up with it a bit better in the future. Alright, so we're heading northwest. This That seems really far. I don't know that this rocket has enough to get there, but I suppose there's only one way to find out. So, let us... 
Oh wait, we don't need the throttle because we are on solid booster. I guess let's just go. Oh, R S A S. Start leaning west and north. I feel like I'm going south. No, I'm not. Okay. Oh, and we have lost that, so... I really, really don't think we have enough to get there. Oh, dear God. We were heading southwest the entire time. What fools! Also, we're about to run out of fuel, and the most we got was that sort of distance, which is nowhere near the amount that we need. So, okay, good to know. Oh no, that's bad. Oh, okay. <laughs> that could have been worse. Really expected explosions, but I guess it's not big enough to really have much force when it falls over. So recover. And we're a bit further, so I don't know if we'll get the same... Uh, I cannot believe I keep forgetting that. <laughs> Just focused too much on uh, surviving. <laughs> Well, we finished the solid booster testing, so that's good. Go ahead and test that. Alright, this one... We're just gonna do this for science. Same ship. We know we can't get to that uh, area up there on the map. But we can at least launch and remember to do science. So, observe the mystery goo. <laughs> I'll fly at Kerbin. Great. Keep that data. And when we get a bit higher, we will go ahead and take a second reading in this blue area of the atmosphere. So I'll let you gone. Trans -fer. Okay, looks like we're almost there. I think that's far enough into it. Observe the mystery goo in the upper atmosphere. It's feeling very cold now. Worth nine science on recovery. And we're about to run out of fuel, so... Now let us cut engines. And what height are we getting up to? Apoapsis. Well, that's pretty high height. Yeah, I never should have made my turn so early. We actually could probably get there. Well, maybe not, because, I mean... We, uh... Oh, dear God, we're completely out of atmosphere. Let's, uh, observe that last mystery goo. No, still counts as upper atmosphere, apparently. Let's reset and do it again. Because that music just said that we're in space. We're in space! Ten science! Clumped into a sphere and become brittle. Brittle goo. It's an odd sort of concept. So, we're going to have some fast forwarding to do just to get back down to the surface. See what I meant about uh, physics? You know, we just watched ourselves going straight up, and that all changed because the fucking planet is rotating under us. It's amazing. Just boggles the mind. And this stuff later on, that will boggle it far, far more. Let us get ourselves to the ground. Let's engage the parachute now, just because... Yeah, we're re-entering atmosphere, and that will help to slow us down quite a bit. Fortunately, these parachutes don't fully expand until we're at a decent thickness of atmosphere, because otherwise... It would definitely rip right off. And I'm pretty sure they updated the aerodynamics system of the game. 
because last time I played, like I said, it was a long time ago, and space planes were sort of rough. I think they work a lot better now, so that will be an interesting thing to attempt when we get to it. Wait until we find our shadow. There it is. Oh god, don't want to be in time warp when we are touching down. Okay. That's good. <laughs> Keep having these wonky little landings. Certainly, certainly not beautiful, but... Ah, oh, and I didn't take any... Okay, whatever. We can uh, take a crew report here. It's worth a tiny bit of science. And let's go ahead and go for an EVA. There we go. Oh, SAS is automatically disengaged. Okay, I guess it uh, isn't allowed to stay on yet. So... I don't remember the, the key for engaging my thruster system. Hopefully this fall isn't too uh, deadly. Okay, good. It's a sturdy Kerbal. Yes, indeed. So, let's just wander out here, get ourselves an EVA report. For the tiny bit of science. Yeah, I, I agree, the spacesuit was not necessary. We're in the grasslands. Grab that. And, ah, oh, we can't plant a flag. Damn, I was gonna. That would have been fun. Um, okay. What is the key? Can't for the life of me remember. Well, I remember the camera button now. That's great. There it is. Okay. It's R for RCS. Makes perfect sense. And gravity is too strong. <laughs> okay, so we can't get back in there. Let's just recover. Great. Bit of science. Hey, what about the, the science mystery goo? Oh, okay, because we only got Jebediah back. So, let's head back to that site. And recover the vessel instead of just <laughs> Jebediah. We don't need just the pilot. We needed the vessel too. There we go. That's much more science. Excellent. Suborbital flight. Indeed. And with that, we're going to go ahead and conclude this episode. So, I've been Infinite Spiral. I appreciate you taking the time to watch this. If you enjoyed what you saw, go ahead and hit that like button. If you'd like to keep seeing more of this, hit subscribe. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.